Uh, today I wanted to take a minute to uh, come out to you guys live. I don't do many live videos. Uh, for one, it's you know kind of off the cuff, but I thought it'd be a good moment to uh, to talk to you guys about radio microphone placement and uh, why I think that having the the central location of your radio mic is the most tactically sound and safest location for you to possibly have your radio mic. Uh, I know there's a lot of controversy, well, I say controversy loosely, there's a lot of conflicting opinions on, on why that's the best placement area. Uh, some guys like it up on the shoulder, you know, well, let's talk about some reasons why you don't, uh, you don't want to have it on your shoulder. Um, for one, uh, there's a, there's been several uh, posts on a bunch of older uh, forums, law enforcement forums, uh, talking about officers who were actually killed in the line of duty or attacked whenever they were reaching for their radio mic on their shoulder up here. Uh, I mean, surely as you can see already, it's already it's already putting my, my head and my body out of uh, a safe arena to address a threat or an issue. If um, <clears throat> if I'm if I'm talking to a suspect, as I'm talking to you in the camera here, and uh, I get radio traffic and have to turn my head here, or I have to reach up to respond, the one the first thing that you can see is I'm actually breaking physical or visual contact with with the camera with you guys. Uh, one thing that we're always taught in our training is to keep our eyes on our suspects, um, keeping our hands centrally located and our eyes on our suspect, always watching their movements, watching their hands. But reaching up for the for the shoulder mic really puts you at a disadvantage to to see that it takes your takes your attention away. You're you're actually putting all your focus here, and you're you're focusing more on on your radio on giving your transmission, and then having to come back. Uh, there's been officers who have actually been shot in the line of duty or, or attacked and killed uh, doing this doing this this method. Now. With your with your microphone centrally located anywhere in this complete area, whether you have it mounted on on your patch panels, on your uh, your outer carriers, or if you have it coming out of your um, your shirt seam, where uh, where like the mic loop will come up and it'll hook on, or if you have it clipped on, however you have it, you can reach here and you can still talk and give transmission. I happen to have my radio here, so. I prefer to have my radio on my, my left hand side and it goes around my back. A little uh, wardrobe malfunction here. It goes around my back and clips clips right here. I can I can address either with my strong hand or weak hand, preferably weak hand, keep your gun hand free or taser hand free. And I can I can give radio transmission like this all day long without breaking visual contact of the threat or or uh, issue at hand. So give transmission here. Also, if I'm running, if I'm running, man, and my radio's up here, you're not gonna break stride. You're not gonna run like this with your with your radio mic up here. You're not gonna reach cross body in a dead sprint chasing after somebody. If uh, if my mic is centrally located here, I can be running give transmission, and still be in stride. So, functionally and tactically, it's, it's, it's realistically the best placement. Some people are going to argue, they're going to say, well, somebody's going to come around and, and, and choke you with your mic cord. I'd like to see how that's going to happen. You're, you're just as easily choked with your mic cord here, you know, around your back. It's, it's unrealistic. It's really an unrealistic scenario to be choked with your microphone cord just because it's around your back. You're, you're just as likely for somebody to, to reach and grab your baton and bust your baton out and start hitting you with it or try to take your firearm or, uh, I don't know, take your handcuffs out of your cuff case and start hitting you with them. So it's really an, an unrealistic scenario. <clears throat> Quite frankly, what I've told people before is if you're getting choked with your mic cord, You've used bad tactics, and you've you've allowed somebody the upper hand. So, in a fight, uh, I teach combatives and defensive tactics for my local police academy and for my department. And one of the things that I teach people later in uh, the training is fighting from your back. So, if you're in a guard position 
and you have a, and you've you've managed to somehow lose your footing and get on your back and a suspect is on top of you 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 could be able to contain them and still give transmission to your location that you need help um, guys I can't I could go on and on and on in instructional videos and live videos and posts and comments about why this is the the best most tactically sound location for you to possibly put your radio mic so I'm getting a few comments in. Um, Brandon says that some people are struggling with placement of the mic central where the wires underneath some belt equipment. A lot of people don't have the mic around the back. The chance of the fender to choke you. I just talked about that, Brandon. Um, I've never had anybody ever grab my microphone, my wire from behind my back. About the closest I've come to having somebody grab it is their hand gets tangled in it while we're while we're wrapped up. Um, if you're guys, if you're <laughs> if you're going to be in law enforcement, you had better be training and better be um, uh, up to speed on your combatives, up to speed on your physical conditioning, and up to speed on any kind of you know, combative or defensive tactics that your either department offers or that you take outside of your your normal work schedule. Um, if somebody gets a hold of any piece of your equipment, I mean, whatever your department policy is, uh, I would consider that a, a start to borderline assault, and I would address that accordingly, as needed. You know, whatever whatever is the most reasonable use of force at the time to prevent somebody from getting an upper hand on me or on my equipment. So, you know, grabbing a hold of my my radio mic, guys. There's, 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 long, there's videos and training videos of, uh, and uh, body camera and uh, surveillance videos of the first thing that a suspect does to somebody, to does to an officer, is to try to knock their mic off. That's the first thing they do is to try to knock their mic off, and we all know why. So they can't call for help because they know they're about to attack this cop. You know, when it comes to something like that, uh, uh, a product like the mic loop is going to stop that from happening one it's going to prevent that from happening whether they grab it and try to rip it off it's not going to come off unless your your mic clip breaks I mean we, we've we've had officers send us videos and pictures of showing us their their radio mics and their mic clip broken off and still attached to the mic loop so plug for our product it works it works hands down and it's going to work better than anything else in the market um, Talked about it. <laughs> okay, Brandon, I got you. Um, but getting back to the topic, you know, that's that's just one thing that you're not gonna have to worry about is is having that knocked off. But but guys, if they're gonna attack you either by by physical force, like hitting you, kicking you, uh, pulling a, a weapon on you, or trying to get your equipment, you have to adjust to the response to resistance for that. That scenario, you have to use the force reasonable to, to prevent and affect that arrest. We all know that. We're all cops. We've all been trained. We've all been through the police academies. We've all seen this. So, um, to answer your question, man, of this long-winded rant, no, I've never had anybody try to grab my mic cord and do anything to me with it. And if they had, it's probably going to end up being a really bad day for them. Um, like I said, if you get your choke, if you get choked with your mic cord, you, you've used bad tactics. But I would take that all day, being able to face front and face my adversary with my microphone central versus here to have to turn away and address. Uh, some guys have their, their radio on their belt, their cord comes up front and sits here. Perfect. Same thing. You can still do the same same operations. It's just a matter of comfort having around your back versus here. It's whatever you guys want. So. Um, if anybody else wants to chime in with any questions about what I'm talking about, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, if anybody has any other thoughts and comments, I'm going to wrap up this video. But uh, feel free to make comment. Let's, let's start a conversation about this, see what you guys' thoughts. This is my opinion about it. This is what I promote, and this is how I strongly feel that this is the absolute most safest way to place your mic. So hope to hear from you guys soon, and uh, you guys always you know, stay safe.